Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I am finally doing my 20 week update for you guys. It has been like five and a bit weeks since I last updated you guys on my pregnancy and it's definitely time that I sit down and have a chat with you because a lot has happened in the last five weeks. I think the last time I did a pregnancy update was about 15 weeks. So by then I actually didn't know the sex of our baby. At about 16 and a half weeks, we went into a scan and the doctor told us we were having a girl. So yeah, we found out we were having a girl. We were very pleased that baby was going to be a girl. We told all our friends and family. We announced it here on YouTube. And literally two and a half weeks later, we went to our anatomy scan at 18 weeks and we got told our baby was actually a boy. I'm so used to this news and I'm so thrilled we're actually having another boy. It was a lot to take in at the start. I was very emotional and I unfortunately expressed myself a little bit too much on social media and I got a little bit of backlash from it. Um, which does upset me that it happened because I feel like it wasn't my fault that it happened. Um, but it did and I am absolutely thrilled that we are having another boy. We were just meant to have another boy for some reason. I was meant to carry another boy. We weren't meant to get that little girl that I thought we were going to get. But Frederick, Jason and I are absolutely thrilled that there is another boy joining our family. So that's like the big news that has happened in the last like five-ish weeks since I have updated you guys was that we thought we were having a girl but actually it was a boy. In the last couple of weeks I've actually felt little baby boy move around. So he is moving and kicking and just going wild in there. He is a very active baby. He is just like his brother was when I was pregnant with Frederick. Because my placenta is at the rear and not frontal. I know there's a different word for it, but I can't think of it right now. But because my placenta is behind baby, I'm feeling a lot more of his movements. I did actually talk to my OB about it today, just because I am finding it a tiny bit painful when he's like, moving his whole body like around um, but he said it is totally normal because there is nothing in front of him so it's literally him to my skin so he said it is definitely normal that it, it does feel a tiny bit painful. The baby is moving around heaps, Frederick's felt him, Jason's felt him, I've definitely felt him um, but yeah he's moving around and he is a very active baby. Something that I've started to notice a lot more is that I'm sleeping a lot less. It is just very uncomfortable. Um, I don't like sleeping on my side. I end up sleeping like this so my shoulder gets sore <laughs> which is not ideal and my hip gets sore. So what I'm tending to still do is sleep half on my belly, half on my side and that is so comfortable. Like he is happy me laying still half on my belly um, and I sleep perfectly fine. I do tend to wake up in the morning on my back and I know that you're not meant to sleep on your back but I I still do. Also another thing to do with sleep is like toilet breaks through the night which is happening but it's not happening every single night like it's only happening once every few nights. Once I wake up and once I go to the toilet it takes me forever to get back to sleep like <laughs> I would just lay there for like an hour and a half be like when am I going back to sleep body like can you just go back to sleep like I'm exhausted I really want to sleep and you're not letting me but it's something that I'm dealing with and I'm slowly getting used to it. So actually when I went to my OB appointment today he weighed me and so far this pregnancy I've only put a kilo on. I'm so thrilled. I know um, with Frederick's pregnancy I had probably put on like four and a bit kilos on by now, probably even more than that. I probably put almost like five or six kilos on now. Um, but with this pregnancy, I've only put a kilo on, which makes me really happy. Um, but I'm not restricting myself with my eating. I'm still working out the amount of times that I've been working out before this pregnancy. And yeah, everything's just been going really good. And I guess my body is just, um, slowing down with the weight and I probably don't need that much because I do have a few extra kilos on my body that doesn't need to be here. 
So I'm guessing my body is just doing what it's doing and right now it doesn't need the extra weight. So a few things I have noticed in the last couple of weeks is my skin. My skin has been breaking out a little bit and unfortunately I am someone who likes to pick my skin. It's a very bad habit, I know. I should be getting out of it. I'm 26. I definitely shouldn't be doing that, but I have. I'm getting some dry patches on my skin, like my skin is very dry now. But I'm slowly dealing with it with a lot of great skincare. Another thing that has been happening lately is my girls. My poor girls. I have seen them grow so much in the last couple of weeks. Not like grown. They're just like full. They look like what they used to look like before I had Frederick, which makes me super happy because I had great boobs before Frederick. And they just went a little saggy after. But they've gone like, I don't know, they're just looking great. But one thing that I have noticed is that my nipples are bloody sensitive and are sore all the time. They're obviously getting ready to produce milk and have a baby latching onto them. But they are sore as hell. Like literally if I'm going out in the cold, they'll just be like, and they will be... They're just really painful. I honestly am trying to think of other things that I need to update you guys on. Obviously, I am in baby's nursery, so that's something that has recently happened, is that we started setting up baby's nursery, which makes me so happy that I finally started it. But other things to do with my pregnancy, nothing really has been happening. I haven't got heartburn. My dreams have seemed to be disappearing. My baby bump is definitely growing now. I am now slothering, slothering, slothering? Is that a word, slothering? I don't know, but I've been rubbing my belly with coconut oil now every single night just to help with stretch marks. I know I'm probably going to get them because I did get a couple with Frederick, but I know I'm probably gonna get a few more with this pregnancy, so I just wanna make sure that I am healing as we are going through my pregnancy, but so far I haven't seen any new ones pop up. I think that is everything that I need to update you guys on my pregnancy. It's just been going really well. It's literally exactly like Frederick's pregnancy, which makes me happy because Frederick's pregnancy was absolutely amazing. I loved my pregnancy with Frederick and I'm definitely loving my pregnancy with this baby too. But anyway, one thing that you guys are waiting for is my bump. And uh, we're going to show you that. So once again, I'm wearing pants. I really need to get out of pants. But um, I just don't have that many dresses or skirts to wear. And just my pants are just feeling comfy as. So I'm still wearing them. But anyway, I've got pants on today. And this is what... Bump is looking like. So bump is not a traditional like circle belly at the moment. All my bump is right at the bottom. Um, he is super low, just like Frederick. Frederick was super low my entire pregnancy. So I know that this pregnancy is going to be exactly the same, but this is what bump looks like. So I'm very flat at the top and I just have a slight bump at the bottom. But when I put clothes on, I feel like bump looks more round, but I think that's just because it has the extra layer of the clothes. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this video and I will see you all in a couple of days. Bye.